Alright you guys, welcome back to the channel. So today, we're going to be doing another ammo test for my 300 Blackout. This is one I'm actually thinking about using at home, for uh, home defense. And it's a subsonic round. It's from Gorilla Ammunition. And it's going to be a 205 grain solid copper hollow point. Uh, it's supposed to be a real good hunting load and uh, self-defense load for home defense. So what we'll do is we'll shoot it out of my 300 Blackout here. 8.3 inch barrel from Ballistic Vantage. Got the dead air Sandman can on the end. Uh, we'll do a five shot uh, velocity test. See how it does there. A uh, gel test and then maybe blow up a melon or something. Water jug, something at the end. Something entertaining, you know. And then uh, I've already checked this round to make sure it stabilizes through this barrel as I've had trouble with rounds in the past not stabilizing and destroying my can which is never fun. So we'll go over, we'll hit the velocity test, and we'll be right back. All right, so we had a high at 966, a low of 935, average of 952, extreme spread of 31, standard deviation of 13. All right, let's go do that gel block test. Gorilla ammunition, 205 grain. Uh, we're shooting it into a 10% clear ballistic gel. Uh, it's pretty used up, so it's probably lost several water dripping. Oh, it looks like we captured one of the rounds and one of the other ones must have gone out the top of that water jug. So there you can see the entrance. It looks like it went about two inches and then expanded and great wound channel out of both of those. Move that out of the way. Oh. Looks like both of them performed super consistent. And uh, let's fish that round out real quick. See what it looks like. enough I didn't want to come out of there. Oh well that'll pick up on camera. Let me see if I can switch the angle, get away from the sun a little bit here. But uh that, that is huge expansion. That expanded beautifully. Sorry about the lighting here, you guys. Let's see if this will be any better. That's huge expansion. Wow, I am uh, quite pleased with that. That is beautiful. So we didn't get the other one. It flew out of the top of the jug. We'll uh, go ahead and do two more with the denim and uh, see if that makes any kind of difference. All right, you guys. Usually rifle rounds, you don't need to do geno test, but since it is a subsonic round, I would just like to see how it does to four layers of denim. So we'll uh, do the same thing as last time, two shots, see how it does. 
Hopefully we caught both rounds this time. Alright, let's spin you around to the other side. Dang, unfortunately I hit those pretty close together. But it looks like it's about the same as the other side. There, as you can see, expanded. Nice big wound channel. All right, I'm gonna pull them out of there real quick and we'll take a look. All right, so I just looked at the top side and uh, pretty interesting. You can see we got one inside of there. And then I popped around to the other side See if it'll show it and it's like sticking out of the side of that back one there. I'll go ahead and pull that one out real quick. Sharp little boogers. Look at that expansion, it's beautiful. That is beautiful. Alright, let's fish this other one out real quick. All right, there's our second one, expanded beautifully as well, there's our two denim, that is really pretty remarkable, let's grab the other one real quick, this is the one that I captured through the bearer just bear gel and if you look at them you cannot tell the difference as to which one was uh, as to which one was bear gel and which one was denim that is awesome I love it and I think I might have just found a new home defense round so hearing safe for the family let me know what you guys think below. I think that's a fantastic round. Not sure how I'll edit this part in, but I went and grabbed the tape measure. So it's a 16 inch, inch block. Uh, all four rounds went all the way through. And I figured you guys might like to see the neck. How far exactly. So that one started, that's hard to pick up down here, about two and three quarter inches. The one on the bottom started at, Two and a quarter. So two and a quarter, two and three quarters on the bell, bear gel, and then our uh, denim side, we did, and they're stacked right on top of each other. They both look to be about exactly the same here. So that neck, we're looking at, you know, it is a little bit quicker actually. Oh, I was pulling it on the gel. It's about two and a quarter, two inches on that, on the denim test. And uh, good wound cavities. As always, you guys, thanks for watching. God bless. Okay, I am freaking soaked from that. Oh my gosh. I forgot I was shooting, shooting downwind. That was extremely stupid. But we're going to go ahead and uh, cap this honeydew. Because as they say, some honeys do and some honeys don't. I'm completely soaked. My phone's soaked. Let's see how that honeydew turned out. Yeah, that'll, that'll put a hurting on you. Oh, I got the camera zoomed in here. So, yeah. That'll do the trick. That'll put a hurting on you real quick. <laughs>